Migrants take over the subway, sleep, and sell food. Amidst the bustling urban life of the Big Apple, the New York City subway has become a focal point for a growing community of migrants who have found refuge and economic opportunities in its busy stations. What was once simply a public transportation system has transformed into a cultural diversity and the socio-economic challenges faced by migrants in the city. According to a report by the New York Times published in October 2023, the presence of street vendors in the subway has significantly increased in recent years. These vendors, mostly migrants from various parts of the world, have found a place in the subway to earn a living by selling a variety of products, from prepared foods to crafts. However, this phenomenon is not limited to commercial activity alone. Many migrants have also turned to the subway as a place to spend the night, especially during the colder months of the year. As temperatures drop, the need for shelter among migrants lacking housing or sufficient economic resources to access adequate accommodation increases. This situation poses a series of challenges for both city authorities and humanitarian aid organizations. On one hand, there is concern for the safety and well-being of migrants sleeping in the subway, especially in such an unpredictable environment as New York City's public transportation system. On the other hand, Questions arise about how to address the economic and housing needs of this growing migrant population. As the debate on immigration and economic inequality continues in New York City, the phenomenon of migrants taking over the subway serves as a vivid reminder of the challenges and opportunities faced by those seeking a better life in one of the world's most cosmopolitan cities.